Hey Gemini, I'm going to be giving you some insight for the month of June. So let's take a look and see what's going on. What are the main energies, Gemini, for the month of June? Happy birthday to you June Geminis. Happy birthday. Main energies. Ooh, Woman of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and it says the Rejoicer. The Rejoicer. So you're going to be celebrating during this month, Gemini. It's your birthday. You're going to be really feeling yourself. Some of you are going to be going to the beach, getting out in the water, the sun, you know, have your little bikini on or, you know, your, um, you know, your swim shorts, you know, uh, maybe even a Speedo, whatever, you know, you're just going to be feeling really fucking good and just rejoicing and happy. You know, I feel like being near the water is going to really help clear your mind, make you feel good. Even if you could be going through emotional time, because some of you could be going through an emotional time. Um, but um, during those emotional times, uh, it'd be great to uh, get near the water to help clear your mind, your energy. We back. Okay, my camera died. So I also see Gemini. Some of you are going to be focused on a Cancer, Pisces, uh, Gemini. Oh, could be another Gemini. <laughs> a Gemini Cancer cusp person. Um, but yeah, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, you can be focused on this person. Um, what else am I seeing? Hmm. A lot of you are going to be really in touch with your emotions or maybe the emotions of others, okay? Be more empathetic. Um, understanding someone, okay? A bit more. Rejoicing. I was hearing, hallelujah. So something happened that was a blessing. You feel was a blessing. Okay? Um, excuse me, I needed some water. Okay, so, um, and this could be a mother figure as well. I was picking up on that. You could be a mother. Um, I see a lot of you really listening to your intuition. It's like um, some of you could be having dreams as well. Okay, so psychically, you know, you're being stimulated during this time. Also, um, something could have happened. You could have had a, I also am hearing some of you could have had a feeling about something like a, a few months ago or, or recently. And now during this time in June, it's going to come to you like, oh shit, I knew I was right about that. You know, you may not have said anything, but you had a feeling and now your, um, it, intuition is proving right. Okay, what's going on with your finances, Gemini? What's going on with your finances? And understand money is energy. Money is energy, okay? A lot of people struggle with it, you know, or have certain beliefs or unhealthy relationships with this. So just know money is just energy, okay? You are the bag. Understand that you are the bag. You are an abundant person. If it wasn't for you, there wouldn't be a bag. Okay, so really <laughs> understand that. Okay, so uh, Gemini, what's going on with your finances in the month of June? June, June. Month of June, month of June. Finances, child of cups. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you're enjoying your money. I mean, you're making the best out of it, out of what you do have. I do see that. Um, some of you Geminis could be desiring more money or uh, wanting to be more financially stable. Um, you're a bit premature in the pockets, uh, you know, and this is not to make fun. It's just that you would, you're not where you would want to be. Okay. Um, I understand that you have the ability to create abundance, okay, to attract money in your life because you're a creative person as it is. I do see that, uh, Gemini. You're a creative person as it is. So, but yeah, you know, I do see some of you are enjoying your money or some of you would like to be more financially stable here. It's just, th there's just a premature energy. You're getting by. I do see that um, some of you are getting by. Um, 
And this can be because you're in a communal living. Some of you um, could have a roommate or live with other people who could help out with, um, you know, expenses. So it's like you're getting by, you know what I mean? You would like to be, um, for some of you, you would like to be a little bit more independent or, or maybe have your finances um, um, elevated or you would like to be, um, I don't know, I was hearing like a like better financial status. Okay, something like that. What's going on with your career? Disappointment, Five of Cups. Okay, so you're not really happy about your work. You're just getting by. You're not fulfilled anymore. There could have been a time where it felt really good. You're really excited to pursue this career, this job, but it's just things are really murky now and it doesn't seem fun anymore. Um, uh, it could be very difficult. I was getting a vision of like a rose in the concrete okay so there could have been some like things implemented like new policies changes in the work environment and it's like um they i don't know i was hearing like impeding on your peace impeding they're kind of impeding in some way or they were just kind of burdensome to you but you still remain strong you still continue to push forward it kind of has made you a little bit prickly this career <laughs> You know, just because of how things have gone, it's kind of made you a little bit prickly, but still beautiful um, as a person. Um, the prickliness I'm a little concerned about, okay? Don't stay at a job uh, or uh, continue to pursue a career that is making you feel um, bad, okay? That's making you feel unfulfilled, okay? Um, I ha hate saying life's too short, but that's the reality. It's important that we do something that we love, okay? And for some people, they're, I don't know, they're constantly changing jobs <laughs> because they're in search of something better, you know, something that's fulfilling, you know, where they can still make money and be happy with what they're doing, okay? So I do see that for some of you. Um, what else am I seeing? Five of Cups. Yeah, just unhappy, you know. I was hearing I could get better. I could get better. You know, you see better for yourself. Um, some of you are just dealing with it. It's like you're disappointed. You're just kind of like, ugh, but you're still pushing through. Um, it's all I have, I'm hearing, because you have Child of Cups and Five of Cups here. So it's like, I feel like you're tied to this job, you know, even though you're not happy with it. It's just because you know that it's, you know, it's going to, I mean, you're going to get paid as long as you're working there. So you're just kind of pushing through it. Okay. Cause it's a paycheck. You know, you, do, I do see that some of you do try your best, you know, it's not like you're lazy and just trying to get a paycheck. It's just, you're just unfulfilled. I feel like, uh, for some of you, um, Gemini's others of you, I see, I do see that you're seeking, um, better employment. I was hearing the grass is greener on the other side. Okay, what's going on in your relationship? This is friendship, romantic, okay, platonic, whatever. What's going on in your relationship, Gemini, in the month of June? Child of Wands. Eh. So, seeker, okay. Uh, someone's looking to spice things up a little bit. Someone's also looking to try something new. Uh, to go on an adventure, like there's an energy of someone just wanting, um, wanting more, okay, wanting something new, something different, maybe wanting to take the relationship to the next level, um, wanting to experience life, just, it's just an energy of that, okay, uh, you could be wanting this with the partner you're with, you're wanting them to try new things, to um, uh, think outside the box, more you know when it comes to planning dates uh, you know things like that it's like an energy of wanting something new um also gemini you could be wanting to try something new with your partner you may want to uh go on an adventure get out in nature more um study something new like it's all about newness like experiencing something new okay um some of you could be dealing with someone that's like a little mouse you know that they're like not as uh, adventurous and that could be uh, a, a little annoying um 
for some of you. Maybe Gemini, some of you are like this. You know, you don't want to explore. You just kind of, <laughs> you know, you like to just sit inside and do this, you know, <sighs> like meditate. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little guy meditating there, you know, <laughs> right there. So you may want to, you know, stay in the house, but uh, it's just, uh, there's an the energy of trying something new, stepping out of your comfort zone, you know, um, being open. Um, I do see for some of you uh, Geminis that are single, uh, you are open to friendships, getting to know people at your own pace. Others of you, it's like you're open to um, just being adventurous, being solo. You know, you may hook up with a person here and there, you know, no strings attached. <laughs> You just think it's somebody who's adventurous and new something fresh i do see for some of you okay let's get a message for you gemini for the month of june gemini gemini month of june month of june i'm gonna pick the third card for you gemini third card third card Yeah, I feel like some of you Geminis need to detox, you know, because the Woman of Cups here, she's rejoicing, she's clearing her energy, her emotions, you know, some of you could be a little bit stuff, stuffed up with emotions, you know, um, disappointment, you know, it could, disappointment could be just be plaguing you and it's kind of hard to be in the moment to be in a receiving energy because you have this congest congestion. So for some of you, it could be a call for like a, a detox, spiritual, physical, mental, emotional detox, clearing out your energy. Enchanted forest, mystery, magic, excitement. Ooh, I was talking about excitement, you know, adventures, you know. So let's see, uh, mystery, magic, excitement. I feel like the enchanted forest, I feel like you know, Gemini in the month of June, it's going to be really, uh, it's going to be really important for you to get out into nature, to connect with the earth, nature spirits. Um, I also see the enchanted forest um, as a symbol of remaining grounded because like the tree, it has roots, it's grounded, okay, it's rooted, it's planted into the earth. So it gives me a, a energy of security, feeling secure. Um, understanding that you're able to create security in this world, you know, um, I feel like, and it goes back to the root chakra too, because when we lack, uh, security or when we feel insecure or our root chakra is, is out of balance, it's easy for us to be in an en energy of scarcity or feeling like we're maybe not good enough or we're not safe. Like, Things like that. So maybe a call to just bring attention to your root chakra. Okay, enchantment forest. Enchanted forest. Mystery, magic, excitement. One minute, life seems rather mundane and boring. Then all of a sudden, someone or something sweeps into your world like a breath of fresh air. All of a sudden, you feel as though you are on a magical mystery tour with a renewed sense of passion and excitement for life. And it doesn't matter that you have no real idea where this is all leading you. In fact, not knowing only creates more excitement. Life is now full of romance and seemingly endless creative possibilities. Embrace all that comes your way. Enjoy the journey and don't be in a hurry to settle things down or draw conclusions. Allow things to unfold in their own way and time. What unravels will bring the lasting joy and a deep sense of fulfillment. Affirmation. I am open to new ideas and adventures. Life is full of endless creative possibility. I embrace each opportunity that comes my way. I love the magic and mystery of life. I trust my heart. I believe in love. I love that. Okay, Gemini, that's the end of your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you are interested in a reading with me, feel free to send me a message to my website.
I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.